Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about flip-flops. Flip-flops are circuits which store one bit of information. Flip-flop has two outputs. One gives the normal value of the bit stored in it. Other gives the complement value of the bit stored in it. First of all, we will discuss about the basic flip-flops. Basic flip-flops can be constructed with two NAND gates or two NOR gates. More complicated types of flip-flops can be constructed by using these basic flip-flops. Now, these are the logic diagram of basic flip-flops which are constructed with two NOR gates and two NAND gates. Basic flip-flops. These basic flip-flops are asynchronous sequential circuits. They have two inputs, set and reset. Set is denoted by S and reset is denoted by R. They have two outputs, Q and Q0. Q gives the normal value of the bit stored in the flip-flop and Q0 gives the complement value of the bit stored in the flip-flop. This type of flip-flop are also called SR latch or direct coupled RS flip-flop. Now we will discuss the basic flip-flop which can be constructed with two NOR gates. It is the logic diagram of basic flip-flop which is constructed with two NOR gates. It has two inputs S and R. S denotes the set input and R denotes the reset input. It has two outputs, Q and Q0. Q0, Q denotes, here, Q denotes the normal value of the bit is stored in it. And Q0 denotes the complement value of the bit is stored in this flip-flop. Now, in NOR gate, right? This is a NOR gate, right? Now, in NOR gate, if any input is 1, right? the output will be 0 and output will be 1 when both inputs are 0. Assume at a starting S equals to 1 and R equals to 0. Now since S equals to 1, the output of gate 2 will be 0 that is Q0 will be 0. Q0 is connected to the input of gate 2. 1. Right? Now, both inputs of gate 1 are 0 because Q0 equals to 0 and R is also equal to 0. Therefore, output of gate 1 will be 1. That is, Q will be equal to 1. Now, S becomes equal to 0 and R is already 0, right? 
here as returns to 0 right then in this case output will remain same right here output will remain same because value of q is 1 right which is one of the input of gate 2 so the output of gate 2 will be 0 that is value of q0 will be 0 now output of gate 2 is connected to the input of gate 1 right so both inputs of gate 1 are now 0 and hence its output is 1 that is Q will remain 1 now now R becomes 1 and S remains 0. The output of gate 1 will become 0. That is Q will be 0. Right? Now both inputs of gate 2 are 0. Right? So, the output of gate 2 will be 1, right? That is, Q0 will be 1. Now, after this, when R becomes 0 and S remains 0, the output will remain same, right? Output will remain same because Q is equal to 0 which is connected to the input of gate 2 right so both inputs of gate 2 are 0 therefore its output that is Q0 will remain 1 Q0 is connected to the input of gate 1 so output of gate 1 that is q will remain 0 when both s now when both s and r are equal to 1 q and q naught both will be equal to 0 but Q and Q0 should be complement of each other. They should not be equal. So, this condition should be avoided. Now, look at here. When Q equals to 1 and Q0 equals to 0, then the flip-flop is said to be in set state or one state right it is said to be in set state or one state when Q equals to 0 and Q0 equals to 1. Then flip-flop is said to be in clear state or 0 state. Now in this flip-flop, both inputs remain at 0 normally unless the state of flip-flop has to be changed now when a momentary one is applied 
to set input. The flip flop goes to the set state, right? The set input must return to zero before the application of one to reset input, right? A momentary application of one to the reset input causes the flip-flop to go to clear state. Now, we will see the basic flip-flop with NAND gates. It is the basic flip-flop with NAND gates and it is its truth table. Both inputs remain at 1 normally unless the state of the flip-flop has to be changed. The application of a momentary zero to the set input causes the flip-flop jump to set state. After this, set input must return to 1 before the application of 0 to the reset input. Now, the application of momentary zero to the reset input causes the flip-flop to jump to clear state when both S and R right, are equal to zero. Then, both Q and Q0 will be equal to one. And this condition should be avoided, right? Because it violates the property that Q and Q0 must be complement of each other. Thank you very much.